Hey guys, it's from the math person and today I'll be going over question 299 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already tried it, let's just dive right in. Let x be a continuous real number variable with probability distribution given here. Let y be the smallest integer greater than or equal to x. Determine the PDF of y. That's what we're looking, trying to find. Okay, so Manny tells, Manny tells, I don't really know how to say his name, but he, his math lab, <laughs> math lab, did a, um, showed a really good example of what y would be. Because this is a new random variable, right? It's defined to be the smallest integer greater than or equal to x. So, for example, if x, and x can't be 0, so if x can be like 0.5, if x is 0.5, then y is equal to, um, one right because it, it's the smallest integer greater than or equal to x okay so but if x is equal to one it could y could also be one right because it, it's greater than or equal to and then so on so on if x is equal to like 1.5 for example then y is equal to two because it's the smallest integer greater than or equal to x because again 0.5 is not an integer so as you notice, y can take the values 1, 2, 3, and 4, which all, all these options do. And as you notice, um, uh, in order to for the probability of y, um, probability for the random variable to be y, the value y, it's between it's any x value between like 0 and 1. So this whole value, if x is equal to this, y would be equal to 1 for this whole value right here. And so on so on. For, from 1 to 2, x could be any value, right? Because it could be like 1.5, for example. But y could only be 2 for any value between there. So the PDF of y is actually the CDF of x. If that makes sense, because CDF again is like a talking about a range. It's a cumulative distribution function, um, going from a certain number to a certain number. So for a PDF of y, and let's say it is equal to like, and then the probability of y is equal to one. Well, that's going from zero to one, right? Zero to one for like for the CDF of x, so it's the CDF of x, which is just e to the negative. This, and it's, we can say the same thing for when y is equal to two. Well, that's when it's between one and two. The CDF of a the CDF of the random variable x going from one to two. So that's how I thought about thought about it to make this a little bit simpler. I hope it's simple for you guys, and I hope it's technically correct. <laughs> So this is what happens, and as you notice, like, what would it be for just y? Well, that's just equal to some value x on the top. See, like, 2, 2. So the upper limit is just the value that we're looking for, the probability that we're looking for. And it's just k minus 1. Lambda e to negative lambda x. Okay, so we just have to solve this problem. And we're good to go. Um, integral of this, so that's 1 over... Well, it would just be e to the negative lambda x negative integrated from k minus 1 to k. So that's equal to, this is in respect to dx b t dubs. Yeah. So then I would plug in these values to x. So that's going to be equal to k minus minus, that's positive, e to the negative lambda x minus 1. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Key. So that this could also be written as a to negative lambda x, I mean like lambda to k times e to negative like oh I guess it's two positive so it makes it two negative so it makes it a positive. I can factor out the e to negative um, lambda k out and in this instance in the center it's going to be left with negative one plus e to the negative or e to the positive lambda. Which is our answer, oh, which could also be written as e to the negative lambda k, e to the negative, e to, oh my, I don't know why I keep writing lambda, e to lambda 
minus 1, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!